All right, what's up, guys? So it's winter time, and what I've always hated about winter um, is keeping my car clean. Right? It's a pain in the ass to fucking wash it <clears throat> every couple days, especially living where I'm at, where there's always salt on the road. It's just such a pain in the ass uh, to clean the car in general, right? Not to mention that here, I mean, there's plenty of weeks where it just doesn't go above freezing uh, all day. So, you know, you can try and clean the car after a big snow, but all that uh, water just ends up freezing and it's just, it's just not good. I was looking around for options and I ended up finding uh, cordless power wash systems. <clears throat> so they're just battery operated. Um, you hook them up to uh, uh, some sort of water source, um, like a bucket of water. Run a tube to the uh, battery powered pressure washer and then you just go. Everything that I've seen is basically that they're under pressured or under powered. Um, but I came across this little guy. So, <clears throat> Railby makes this. Um, this is actually the newest model. Their previous model, uh, it was not the OnePlus um, battery system. Uh, and it had like okay reviews, but everyone said basically it's, uh, you know, no more pressure than a, than a normal hose, right? It's not necessarily a power washer. But this one um, sounds like it's a little bit more powerful, so, you know, I'm not looking for necessarily a power washer per se, but what I do want is a nice stream of water that's powerful enough to at least rinse some salt off of uh, my vehicles. You can run a hose to a bucket of water, or uh, it even has an attachment to fill a soda bottle. And you just fill that up with water, and then it's even more portable. So, hoping that it's strong enough, uh, we'll open it up and try it out. Uh, but, you know, if it works well, well enough, then it should be a game changer, you know, because now I won't have to drive out to a power washer, um, drive out to one of those car wash bays with a power washer, and, uh, you know, spray it down, just end up driving home and having all the water freeze on my way home so this will be nice I'll be able to do it in my driveway don't have to get the hose out or anything um, I'll probably also just throw some soap in a bucket of water too and uh, you know get some soap on it spray it off I ended up having to buy a, a Ryobi battery and charger because all my tools are in Milwaukee um, so I got this right here battery, a 4 amp hour battery and a charger. I found it for like less than a hundred bucks. The power washer itself was like mm, maybe I think it was I want to say it was less than a hundred. So like all in all, you know, 200 bucks got me this system. So let's try it out. One of these days I'll uh, clear up space in the garage so I can actually use my tables and stuff. So Let's pop it open. Alright, so, so inside we have our spray wand that attaches to the washer, of course. Um, this is the soda bottle adapter, so uh, normal liter bottle of soda uh, screws in here you attach it to the gun itself and boom portable power washer uh, there's an adjustable nozzle you can adjust the uh, spray pattern um, uh, maybe a garden hose attachment the manual this is a uh, the hose to throw the power washer into a bucket. <clears throat> and here's the gun itself. The uh, pretty beefy boy. Right here. So yeah, so you just attach the wand, 
Um, here's where you attach the soda uh, bottle adapter or the hose. It's got a battery protector to keep it from getting wet. Pretty hefty. Um, yeah, seems like a pretty good bit of kit. And you can lock the trigger, I think. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So let's get this wand attached to it. So the wand, there's a, this little release right here. Just pop it on, line up the arrows, boom, that's on. Same with the tip, line up the arrows, the arrows right here. There's one on the top, one right here. On the nozzle itself, line it up, boom, on. Alright, <clears throat> so let's get the battery in. Pops in like any normal uh, tool. And seal the casing up. Alright, it's ready to go. Gonna attach the soda bottle adapter and this just clicks in. There you go. Alright, so the bottle's attached. I have a uh, floor mat from my Porsche that uh, has some heavy salt on it from a couple winters ago, so we'll see how how well that cleans. So, those are the different settings, but yeah, I had a big uh, salt deposit right here covering the logo in it. Blew it right off, so <clears throat> maybe this thing will work out. <clears throat> so, let's try out the toes attachment so it's got a it's a little bob to keep the uh, thing submerged which really doesn't work very well and, uh, adapter right here to clip the uh, hose on to the bucket I guess Troublesome. Let's try it out. It's my dirty uh, hard body. Alright, here we go. Let's give it a little rinse. setting 15 turbo Overall, um, I think it's certainly going to work for what I wanted it for. Um, definitely going to let me blow some salt off the car, um, especially on days where it's freezing and I don't want to go to an actual power wash bay. Um, does seem to go through water pretty fast, like the water bottle attachment. Eh, it's good for quick portability, but you're going to be running through water pretty quickly. Um, you know, just blowing my... Uh, floor mat you know like that ran through the whole bottle basically and even with the bucket 
I mean, that's going to go through it pretty quick if you're washing a car. Um, but yeah, overall, for the price, I mean, especially if you already have Ryobi tools and you already have a battery, I mean, this thing's definitely worth the money. Um, like I said, it was, I think it was less than 100 bucks, like maybe 80 bucks. No, it's probably about 120. Yeah, I think it was a 120 and then the battery and charger I got for like 80. So all in, 200 bucks for this. Um, again, if you already have Ryobi tools, you're good to go. I think it's definitely going to help me out in the winter. Um, let me kind of wash my car, uh, or at least do some in-between washes. So, yeah, pretty cool though. Anyways, hope you guys like it. I hope it's helpful. Um, hopefully that solves other people's problems with washing their cars in the winter. Anyways, peace.